Hey everybody, today is another perfume related video and I'm really really happy to introduce to you a fragrance that I actually am quite impressed with. This is Bulgari Eau de Parfumé Eau de Haute Bleu, Blue Tea. Uh, this is uh, one of the lesser known lines from Bulgari as well as lesser known perfume um, type perfume genres in general. This is quite an interesting combination because here we have really a fragrance that combines two um, uh, two types, groups of scents that usually don't really get combined very frequently. We have purple florals and we have tea. Uh, this is quite a fresh little beast. Um, it is in a concentration of Eau de Cologne, so of course we have to keep that in mind when we're talking about longevity of the fragrance and how it presents. Um, it comes in 150 milliliters, so, so of 5 fluid ounces. I'm really not convinced that it comes in any kind of a different sizing situation. I think this is what you get. Let's start with the description of the bottle. As always, you get beautiful blue matte gloss with a bit of a sticker on the top with gold and a golden cap with a typical Bulgari uh, sort of cap emblem. Here, the sprayer is lovely. It works super well, very fine spray, very, very nicely done. I like Bulgari sprays. And this is the quite nicely presented fragrance. I feel like the packaging is really classic, beautiful, high quality. I have no qualms with the packaging. I love this kind of packaging. Feels very substantial and looks quite expensive, although very clean and simple. Exactly what I like in packaging for perfumes. So, <laughs> the fragrance itself is quite a bit of a gem. I have a hard time um, coming up with a reason why it's not more popular than it is because I personally have not heard people talking about this one very much. But for lovers of light uh, powdery fragrances, this could be a really wonderful find um, because it, that's exactly what it is. It has very few notes to it in the pyramid and I agree it smells simplistic but in a best possible minimalistic way. For me, this is a minimalistic perfume. There is freshness of the tea, and I would say it's closer to green tea. It's a bit bitter, um, specifically from the tea leaves, which are pretty notable there. Tea being kind of the base of the fragrance, it stays low, the powdery nose hits stronger in, in the, at the top, and then as the fragrance develops on your skin, it goes more towards the tea side of things. Um, the powderiness is a combination of a few pretty cool things. I think um, they really did quite a nice job uh, making the, com the composition unique yet super pleasant and not, uh, not overtly weird. Um, on the base of tea there is tons of iris. It's not a lipstick iris, it's rather a fresh, um, lovely um, iris that has to do with flowers rather than the roots of the plant, um, petally soft and delicate. There is some um, uh, violets there, but they're quite mi play playing quite mi a minor role. I wouldn't even really focus on, on violets. And there is some um, uh, lavender. Lavender is a perfume note that is not exceptionally popular in perfumery. A lot of the times it reminds us of our laundry, it reminds us of uh, home fragrances because they're, they're, more calm, they're, they're more likely to have a lavender note or a lavender sort of main note in the composition. So when we smell lavender a lot of the time, we are kind of referred back to those home smells rather than perfume. And I think that's a shame and we shouldn't be afraid of lavender. We shouldn't just toss it aside as a, something that we put in our sheets. Um, or an air freshener. <laughs> really, lavender is very lovely. It goes still pretty heavily into the male perfumery and um, gets combined with uh, a variety of uh, sort of male florals that are more commonly used in male perfumery to create this purple floral effect. It's quite fresh, it's quite um, invigorating yet it's soft and gentle. Um, so lavender is quite a, quite a perfect little note um, if done right, and here it is. 
So lavender gives the scent more of that purple floral powderiness, but also just a little bit of sophistication and a hint towards uh, unisex fragrance. I wouldn't say this is totally unisex, but I absolutely see men wearing that. Um, but it has to be a certain kind of occasion, it has to be a suit, it has to be um, something quite high-end. I feel like this is quite a sophisticated scent for a guy, the guy wearing that. This is a sophisticated dude, he's not fixing his Harley wearing this. Um, but the scent is not sweet at all, it's rather powdery but in a gentle, soft way, and it's a veil of a scent. It's really not a scent that is a pow pow, here I am, uh, love me sort of a scent. It's a rather gentle, is it her body care? Is it her shampoo? Is it how she smells? Is it her perfume? Maybe it's her makeup. What is that smell? It's really, it draws you in just enough to give you a hint of, of a peak of this uh, loveliness, this softness, romantic, longing almost and then it's not dense enough to um, give you any kind of a sensation of heaviness or being weighed down um, it's a pull away fragrance meaning that as soon as you sense it it pulls away and it leaves the mystery behind this is a fragrance that will leave the mystery behind another thing i'd like to mention is the fact that yes sillage is low on the low side and also the fragrance is not super long lasting you will have to reapply no doubt about it but on the other hand that's what gives this uh, fragrance airiness and its capacity to suit a variety of seasons really i don't see a season attached to this if anything, it's a summer fragrance, and also because of the longevity as well, but it's a summer fragrance, it's, it really won't, uh, it won't suffocate you in the heat. It is gentle and alluring enough to be an interesting fragrance, but at the same time, it is not in your face enough to be the kind of scent to pull you down, weigh you down, suffocate you, suffocate people around you. So actually, I think for a work environment, this is a really, really great pick. If you like powdery scents if you don't then i think you will be horrified and think it smells way too powdery because there is definitely a huge powder component to this one so to me this is sort of a 19th century damsel not necessarily in distress but she's 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 gentle she has her powder puff with her she reads a romantic novel maybe next to a window with a fluttering um fluttering sort of window dressing next to her and maybe there's a bouquet of, of uh, field flowers on her reading table. It's, it's all quite lovely. But I can't say this is a totally girly scent. It's, it's a romantic and soft scent, yes, but it's not a girly scent. Um, so I think a, a woman can easily wear this. A little girl will not be interested in this. A little girl would want, would, will want her sweeties or will want some uh, Coco Mademoiselle Papau in your faceness or patchouli or something, something else. But I see a, quite a mature woman wearing that, not in terms of maturity in years, but mature, like feeling like she's a woman and not a young girl or, you know, come here, young lady. That's not her. <laughs> Nobody will ever refer to her as that, no matter how old she is, 16 or 86. Nobody will ever speak to her like that. That's that lady. And she is in fact a lady, she's calm, she's collected, she's a bit quiet, maybe uh, maybe a little shy. That's her and she's lovely and I would love to be around this lady. So I totally recommend this fragrance if you are a lover of powdery scents. This is an interesting pick and a powdery scent that is suitable for the summer and is fresh enough to provide you with a bit of a, uh, oof, this heat is not getting to me sort of feeling. Um, Check it out if you're interested in powder. I think powder-wise, this is not not sh too shabby at all, especially for the price. Very impressive. Thank you, Bulgari. That's it for today. Uh, and I hope it was fun for you to watch this little review of uh, a Bulgari scent that I've been recently enjoying in my rotation. And hope you have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.